everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing some self-portraits, but it's never going to be that simple, is it? So I'm going to start off with a self-portrait using my hands to hold the pencil, or pen in this case, and then things are going to get weirder and weirder. I'm thinking we have a little go in the elbow, maybe with the feet, but it's going to get a bit weird. It's going to get a bit strange, and I'm sure the portraits are going to look weird too, but it's all good fun, so let's go. Right, easy one. Not bad, not bad. Not looking forward to doing the other ones because I think they're going to be... Ooh. Let's see. My hand is in the way so I can't see. Oh wow. This is so hard. And there we go. Not terrible, but there is a noticeable difference. <laughs> Last round. Feet. Let's review. Here's the first one. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> Here's the first one where we used our hand. Not bad. Here's where we used our inner elbow. <laughs> and this is where we used our foot. So the point of the message today is that we should be making sure that we are doing things how God designs them. God designed us to use our hands for these kind of crafty things and Oftentimes, that's just the best way to do it. We can try and go our own way and make up our own plan for doing things and not follow what God's out for us to do. And it just doesn't go well. And there are so many stories in the Bible of when people don't follow God's design or don't follow his commandments and things go really wrong. Pharaoh and the plagues, Jonah and the whale. And the best way to make sure we're following God's perfect good design for us is to learn about it and read the Bible. <laughs> Otherwise, how else will we know? So make sure you are reading your Bible, going to church, talking to other Christians to get to know God and getting to know what he says is best because what he says really is the best. So I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.